boys, I am always finding new things to get angry or argue about. And today is no exception. I have gathered a list of the 10 most frustrating and infuriating designs or inventions ever created. Number one, the Dasani water bottle rebrand. Look, Dasani has never been known for their good tasting water. Uh, it's pretty much at the bottom of every fucking water list known to man. But what the fuck is this, right? The one thing Dasani had going for it, the only thing even, was its unique water bottle. And they changed it to this shit. Are we fucking seeing this? They made it as generic and as cookie cutter for water as you can possibly imagine. Whenever I went to go buy this at the store for my last video, I didn't even and recognize it. And I have a theory that the only reason that they did this shit was so that way they could look less like their original brand, which everybody associates with rat piss tasting water. Instead of changing your shit to look like a fucking bullshit Silicon Valley tech company, maybe just make good water. It's not that fucking hard. Number two, bowling. What? the fuck is bowling? Can we all be honest with ourselves? There has never been a more useless and unathletic and uninspired sport ever created. And it's caveman bullshit. Think about what you're doing. You're taking a big heavy black ball and, and you're throwing it and rolling it on a lubed floor to hit some pins. How caveman and archaic is that shit? And, and the people who do it, all of them, they look the exact same. They're all just 40 year old middle aged white balding men with the with the worst attire. They, they Bowling has the worst uniforms of any fuck sport. They look like the shit my grandma would find at a thrift store. I'm not kidding. I really don't see any good aspect about bowling, and I think that most of the people who play it all act, talk, and look the exact same. Also, incredibly boring and the worst sport on Wii Sports, hands down. Number three, PepsiCo. They own way too much fucking market share. Listen, you might not know this, but any product that is kind of the second tier, right? The runner-up, the great value version of another product is probably owned by PepsiCo. All of them. Aquafina, Pepsi, Frito, all of them are Pepsi. I think Frito's Pepsi. I don't fucking know. But the problem is that not only do they have so much market share, but like almost all of their products are shittier versions than something that already exists. They're backup. They're bench warmers even. Who is actually wanting to buy PepsiCo products? How are they in business? All of their shit is worse versions of stuff that already exists. They can't make one good thing original. And boys, if there's one thing I'm known for, it's originality. Everybody in the US thinks Coke is better, and that's just their main thing. That's the main debate. All their other lines of products, which is so many different things, different snacks and different junk food items are all terrible. Number four, Vermont. I know that this one might be a little bit weird. You might be confused. You know, what What the fuck do you mean Vermont? The state? Is that what it, it was? A, yeah. My problem with Vermont is that it's not fucking real. And you think I'm being hyperbole. You think I'm joking. Cut the fucking music. You think that I'm joking. I'm not. I've never met one person that's ever been to Vermont. Never met one person that grew up there, was born there, never seen a Vermont license plate, and they are known for nothing. Not only that, but where the U.S. claims that it's located on the map, there's like 10 and other tiny ass states surrounding it that look the exact same. There is zero defining characteristics of Vermont and you cannot prove me wrong. It is an infuriating godless land that needs to be nuked off the US territories because oh my god, any other place in the US is better. Even Florida. And don't even get me started on Florida. Number five, 100% keyboards. There's never been a more unnecessary product to have at any computer setup. For one main reason, Reason, really and that's because a 100% keyboard takes up like this much more room on your desk like like a third of a foot just to put another set of numbers Wow, there's already the number I'm unplugging. Yeah, I'm going big time. There's already this set of numbers right here Why would you need another set on the side? All you're doing is taking up space on your desk There is zero practical use to have copy and pasted keys that do the exact same thing as keys that are already on Every size of keyboards. All it does is take up space. Fuck it while we're at it Why don't we just take the entire keyboard and duplicate it to the left? What is the point of the keypad? What does it do that the already established 10 number keys on your keyboard can't? Any other size of keyboard is better. I'd rather have a 40% than a 100% and that's saying something. Number six, people who shower more than twice a day. This one probably hits 
closest to home for me. Um, this is one of the most infuriating and horrid acts that a human can do. It, it really borders murder to me. What the fuck is your problem? Under normal circumstances, if you are not an active person and you are not sweating or getting dirty throughout the day, one shower in the morning is enough. We can all agree on that, right? If you're getting sweaty throughout the day, if you're working out, if you have a labor intensive job, if you are outside all the time, two showers a day makes sense. One in the morning and one after the hot and sweaty activity that makes you gross. But there is no fucking excuse for three, three showers in one day. One day! I had a whole debate with this at the kids, nay, the fucking heathens that I sit at at my lunch table who were trying to talk to me about how, how often I need a shower when I already shower once a day and do not get sweaty throughout it. Twice a day, you're already pissing me off. Like I said, you have to be a specific type of person with a specific lifestyle. But three times. Three times! Number one, you are tanking your water bill that I know you're not paying for because if you were, you wouldn't be spending all that water every day. Not only that, but you are running through so many outfits. You have to run through three outfits every day. Three shirts, three underwears, three socks, three pants, and three thongs. That is way too much for the average American. Because of that, you're having to do three times the laundry. You have to use three times the soap, three times the power, and spend three times as long. Guy, if you are showering three times a day, you are wasting your time. You are spending upwards of one hour every single day just getting ready for the day. Maybe instead of spending all your time getting ready for the day, spend your time doing the day. It, it, it is the most brainless and bullshit activity that I have ever heard of. And I hate, and I hate anybody who showers three times a day and don't even comment anything about four. Don't even mention it. Number seven, the mail system. It has got to be just the most outdated way to send and receive information across a large distance. I mean, let's just, let's just, let's just unpack this, all right? I'm still pissed from the shower argument. There's some guy or some robot that's job is to type up and make the letters, all right? That, that's step one. Step two, you package it and you spend all that money and resource and time on envelopes and stamps. Then you get another guy who's, whose job it is to move it place to place in a truck that looks like a, a reformed ice cream truck and it takes days if not weeks to get from place to place and only then does it arrive maybe in the receiver's mailbox which they then have to go check and then open it and then read it and then process it and god forbid they have to sign something and then send it back we're talking weeks to send three messages back and forth just a hypothetical question what if we could do all of that but we put it online and then maybe we abbreviated the name and called it something like email i don't know i'm just speaking out of my my ass. And what really gets me is that mail is where all the companies send your most valuable information, your tax documents, your insurance, your health care, your car payments, all of it goes through the mail. Why? Why can't they just take the already written thing that they had to write in docs or in Word and email it to me where it's guaranteed to show up where I can see it and where it can't get stolen out of a box. Number eight, YouTuber merch pricing. Now here's the thing. I think that YouTuber merch does not necessarily need to be cheap, right? There is a message, a meaning, and a face behind every piece of merchandise, and it's way more personal than any company. But why the fuck do these assholes, these fucking lobotomite losers, think that they can get away with charging me $50 for a shirt that has like seven letters on it in white text? I get it. It's unique and it's quirky, but it could not have taken more than $3 to not only make the shirt, but get it to me. Why would I be paying $50? And don't even get me started on hoodies because they charge this shit out the ass. I got a Ludwig hoodie. It cost me $85. Plus shipping, it was like $90. I love Ludwig and I love that hoodie, but $90 for one, one piece of clothing is outlandish. And what I don't understand is who these YouTubers think they are charging this much. It's almost a standard at this point that shirts are either $25 or $30 if they're YouTuber merch, and hoodies, at the very least, are $50. And I promise you that whenever I start doing merch, you will never, ever see me charging over $60 for one item. And that
that is a promise. Number nine, podcast names. We are in a listening and streaming age. I genuinely cannot go over an hour of my life without listening to something, whether it's a teacher talking, a friend talking, music, or a podcast. I am always listening to something, and podcasts are an incredibly popular way to do it. So why the fuck can we as a society not make reliably good names for this bullshit? Every single name for every podcast is always trying to be so quirky and stand out so much, but in reality, all of them just sound like the same bullshit. I went through a list of the biggest and most streamed podcasts on Spotify right now. Tell me why so many of them were the blank show. Guy, you have a podcast. You are not famous or important enough to call your podcast the Your Name Show, because that's always what it is. The Ben Shapiro Show. The fucking, I don't remember any of the other ones, but I prom, they're, they're all, it's like half of them. They're all called the blank show. And some other just really shitty, annoying ass Silicon Valley. I live in LA and pay $9 for water that's packed in glass. Call her daddy. Come the fuck on. So true. What now? Unbased and young and profiting. All of these sound like they were put into an AI and spat out. They are the most generic, soulless names I have ever heard. Number 10, Duffel Bags. Straight off rip. Stupid fucking name. I wouldn't be surprised if it was some egotistical fuck who just wanted their last name in some product that they made. But why the fuck do any of us even pretend, even give an iota of a thought, that a duffel bag is a practical or good good way to store and carry around items. First thing, how do you carry this? There is way too many straps and way too many different zippers and pockets that there is no reliable way to carry it. There's always another configuration. It's like a bionicle. Not only that, but they're really expensive. They're like $50 when you can get a backpack for like 20, which doesn't make any fucking sense to me because a backpack you actually can practically carry around. And speaking of carry around, they're way too big to carry around. They're like twice the size of a backpack backpack and you can't put it on your back so you have to put it on the ground wherever you are which just takes up a shit ton of floor space and then whenever you have to pick it up again you have to pick it up and carry it like this so you're just walking and hitting it with your knees and there's no good way to hold it and I don't know why we as a society are lying to ourselves and using these let me just ask you really quick let's say there is no backpack and duffel bags are the only way to carry around items from one place to another what would be the next invention that could make these more convenient? Would it not be to make them less cumbersome and easier to carry around and store? Guy, just use a backpack. The solution to the problems that duffel bags make already exists. There is no purpose for these in my America. Boys, that is my list. I hope you enjoyed. I've probably mentioned this multiple times in the video by now, but this is completely ripped off of Jay Schlatt. If this is your first video of mine that you're watching, uh, just know that not everything I do is completely swagger jack and I do have original content sometimes. Boys, I hope you enjoyed and have an amazing day.